Hi guys, welcome back to the Git session. So in this session, I'm going to discuss with you guys like the difference between branches and tags. Okay, difference between branches and tags. So in this session, we are going to discuss about what is tag, what is the use of tag, okay? So, how to create the tags, right? How to push, how, like all the operations we can perform by using tags, okay? After that, we can discuss about stash command. After that, we can discuss about, uh, see, uh, here, uh, cherry pick is there. Uh, we can discuss, we can discuss over there, like this case, okay? and how to clone the project that we, 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 we can discuss here okay now see the first thing is what exactly the difference between the branches and tag so first the first is first thing is branch is mutable <coughs> branches mutable tag is immutable tag is immutable we can say when we are working with Java, so in Java, there is one object called string. So string is mutable or immutable? It's immutable, right? Sir, sorry, sir, I'm not, I, I don't know about any programming. So I don't know about string also. Sir. Okay, don't worry, guys. Okay, don't, don't go with any panic things. Okay. It's very simple, guys. Mutable and immutable. So mutable is nothing but we can able to change the branch details at any time, any cost. We can able to change the branch details at any time, at any cost. That means we can able to change the branch information in our flexible way. That is what we are going to call as mutable. Immutable is nothing but once you create the tag so that will not be change forever that will not be change forever okay sir can you please give me one real time example yes i can give a one real time example for tag see in 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 the in every organization we are we are developing some applications so when you are developing an application, we have for some period of time, like for one, for every one month or every two months kind of thing, we are going to release the development code, development to production, right? Every month or every two months. So there is some a plan schedule for that. For every release, there is a plan schedule for that. According to the release, we are going to release our development code to the production. See, now when you are starting a new application today, so we create the branches, we have, we have created a developer branch, we, we are going to work on developer branch. So we are pushing the code to that uh, QA environment. So okay, everything is done now. Now, after a month, whatever the future you develop still, you are going to Full, we are going to make that product to the like. So whatever the code you did in this time, that code is going to freeze in some in some storage area. That means that is what we are going to call as tag. Okay. So and one more thing is tags we can able to generate, we can able to create from the master branch only in the real time master branch only from the real time why because master branch having the production code master branch having the updated production code so release to release okay you need to make the tags with proper application name with followed by the version Okay, so that's what after code is right, 
in the production, then we are going to create the tax. But in the branch, so it's continuous development process. Okay. Now, so you you already we know right how to create the branch. The syntax is get branch branch name. Okay. So how to create the tax? Get sorry, <clears throat> get tag tag name. Get tag tag name. Okay. First we can see here. Okay. First we can check get branches. How many branches we have? We have to check that one. So as of now we have two branches. One branch is develop branch. Another branch is master branch. So now I am pointing to the master branch. Okay. I want to know what are the files in the master branch. So ls hyphen la. So these are the two files I am having in my master branch. Now I am now I am moving to develop branch now. Git checkout develop. Uh, now we can see here ls hyphen la the same thing login.tx registry.tx okay so if you want to know the difference between these two we can use git diff dev we can use here what master okay so there is one change okay there is one change in between git and master so what is that let's see here now we are in develop so there is a change in the registration right so cat register.tx so in the in the develop branch so we have we have what name is manikanta and address is so and so now i'm check i'm going to get checkout get checkout master now see in master table get uh, get what register.txt <coughs> in this we don't have name or that so what i'm trying to do I'm going to make. I'm going to merge the develop branch to the code. So for that, what we should do? I'm using git merge develop. So uh, please enter commit message. Okay. So just click on i. Uh, I is merge kind of. So we can see now get dev what develop. So no changes there. That means so both master and develop is up to date now. So we can check here get register.txt. See name and address is going to be here. Fine. So now now right now I'm in master. So I'm going to pull. I'm going to push. The login 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 file and registration file to the production okay fine now assume i did my production now the login file and registration file is available in the line now immediately you need to make this tag before going to start any new future the existing one you have to tag them. so how to create a tag so for that <clears throat> what we should do first, you can check this one. Get, get, remote hyphen b. So what is the what is the uh, application name here? Yes, college management system. Okay. Now I am going to create one tag. Okay. So how to create the tag? Yes, there is a command called git tag and tag name. So how to create? Guys, if you are if you are going to create any tag make sure that you are you are you are going to be in master branch only okay why because you are working on real-time applications right that's what we can use here git tag tag name guys <coughs> there is <coughs> there is uh, some uh, meaningful uh, naming conventions out there we have to follow the same thing guys so git tag tag name tag name you have to define like this that is college application name we can define okay college management management system system okay you have to define the version now the, the i mean i'm doing very first version right 0 0.0.1 0 .1. that's it you don't want to mention any 
type kind of thing and before that what we should do we can go to the uh, we can go to the branch here okay so we can go to the branch here so now now we can see the okay now i deleted this thing this for for our sake purpose okay now go to the college management okay go to the college management system so there is two branches available one will be master branch another will be develop branch but there is no tax here okay there are only two files over here right there is no tax here okay so if you want to create a tag so if you see here how to do so just get tag and define the name uh, tag name here and click on the enter button okay now you have to check whether my tag is created successful or not for that we have to use git tag so now college management system version 0.0.1 but see we created tag right let's see here the tag is let's refresh it once you refresh it once you refresh it still tag is not generated here why because we didn't push the tag information to the remote repository so for that what we should do we can use here here get push origin so if you want to know origin what we should do at uh, alias name get remote hyphen v so what is the alias name here origin right get push origin and you have to specify your tag name so what is it college management system version 0.0.1 now if you click on enter button see i'm creating objects 8 <coughs> done right so see here new tag okay college management system v.0.1 is created now go to the browser and just see guys we see we can see here zero tags now right i am now i am now i am going to refresh my screen now we can see here one tag is created once you open the tag okay automatically you can able to see the tag over here with the help of zip file and tar automatically zip file and uh, tar file is going to generate it if you want to go and you can download this one we can use it whatever you want okay like this we can able to create n number of tags <clears throat> we can create n number of tags based on the unique version numbers okay sir so wh what is the use of that okay sir fine i understood that okay you created tags and all fine that but what is the use okay i'll tell you so okay suppose you uh, uh, what happened right version 1 uh, version 1 already released there okay you are go you started working on version 2 uh, so uh, again you pull that code you merge the code and after that you are going to create one more tag so in version 2 there is some there in that production build there are some problems happen there are some problem happens to the user so what what we should do okay why because your application is on live customers are using your application if your application is getting problem so definitely your business is going to down right so immediately how to fix that how to do that so whatever the version already you have a backup right so immediately you are going to take the build of version version 1 build and you can upload you can upload the new version you can you can upload that uh, same piece of code with, with a different version to the production and as of now customers is not going to get any problem in that now after that uh, in version 2 whatever the change what are the problems you there you can go and fix the problems and test it more than times and then if you confident the testers is confident that okay sir we can go and release this build to production then you can release the build to the production okay so what uh, tag is kind of backup thing tag is kind of backup thing into the in the real time scenario okay now now see here now we can see display the tag push so now okay sir i want to delete the tag okay 
if you want to delete the tag you can see here git tag just see we have one we have one tag right now if you want to delete the tag we can use here git tag hyphen d we can specify the uh, management system and we can able to delete the tag into the repository now we can see here git tag okay nothing is there okay so guys we can able to delete this tag in local okay we are not delete this tag from in the remote okay if you want to delete the tag from the remote you can go and delete from the gui user interface how to do how to delete that so just click on the tags here we have three dotted over here just click on that and there has option called delete you can click on delete option and click on the delete tag like this okay now if you want to release if you want to create the tags okay from the gui point of view here we have a option called release option so create a new release okay and here you can define the uh, choose a tag so from here you can define uh, your own tag like uh, college uh, what we can what we can say management uh, system v uh, v uh, what we can say 1.0.0.1 .0 .0 .1. okay now we can create this okay after this if you want to add any release note we can add the release note out here and click on the public publish release okay now now we can see these two things over here now we can able to check now we can go to the college management system again now see one branch one tag is created when you open the tag you can see here 1.0.1 if you want to delete this one also we can go on here delete, delete we cannot able to delete this thing when you are creating this thing over here okay fine so this is about the difference between the branches and tags okay so clear guys i hope you guys clear right now there is one more command guys okay suppose uh, you have you you created or oh, 10 tags okay you created 10 tags in your local repository if you want to push all the 10 tags at a time to the remote we have to use git push alias name hyphen hyphen tags so automatically whatever the tags you have all the tags is going to upload it is going to push to the remote at a time okay this way we can work around right fine so i hope you guys very clear about this part right now coming to git stash so what is stash okay i'll give you one simple example okay now uh, go to uh, go to master just check it get differ okay oh, sorry get diff double right so nothing is there right now i'm going to the git checkout git checkout develop fine now i'm switching to develop develop branch right so here what is the files we have so there are login file and registration file now now i am going to i am going to do some updates on registration okay so how to do that vi register.txt now i am going to add oh sorry i am going to add the uh, mobile phone number here i can add phone number as you know, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay zero like this so email id is we can add it here as uh, something like money kanta or else you can call it as a coding academy at gmail.com okay so bangalore is it and password i can say money at one two three just i updated my file okay just i updated my file and just uh, escape it right uh wgq like this so just check out its status so one file is modified that is registered.txt okay region 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 guys okay now suddenly you have one production issue while doing this thing you got to, you got a call from your team lead uh, hey money we have one production issue we need to work immediately whatever the work you are doing right now please stop the work and pick this work and we have to work we have to fix that production 
production build at, at any cost by today. Okay. Now, now I am in which branch? Develop branch. Okay. Now I am updating one file like this. Okay. Assume if I updated hundred files. Okay. If I updated hundred files. Okay. So what we should do? But my, I don't have time to commit. Okay. I don't have time to commit these files. But my manager called me to pick the production issue immediately as early as possible. So for that, what we should do? Fine. So whatever the working files, what, whatever the files we have in your working directory, you need to save that files. You need to save that files in local. Okay. For that, we, for that, we have to use a command called stash. So how to use get stash. We can use a com command called save. And here I am. I am storing, I am storing register.txt, register.txt file in, in stash, stash like this. We can give one proper message. Okay. Now click on enter button. See, save working directory and index state on develop branch. Okay. Guys, remember point. You have to define like this, get stash save okay that say stash is something that what this you already you already you already updated some piece of code suddenly you got another work you want to switch to another branch to work on that so production bug is to work on where master only right you need to switch immediately to master branch and you have to work on that part so what we should do we don't have time to add we don't have time to commit we don't have time to push okay so by the for that we have to use a stash Okay, stash is a command where we are going to store your updated files in some storage point or like backup kind of thing. Okay, now, so if you want to see how many stash files I created, for that we can use git stash list. Git stash list. So we can see here there is 0th index. Okay, like that, the style size is going to create with the index value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that. Okay, now, now my file sheet, my, now, now I'm going to shift to my git checko master, like this. Okay, now here we can check it, git status, nothing is there, right? So you can, from master, you can create one branch, one branch with a name called, uh, 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 fix version so uh, production production bug whatever the branch name you created so you can work you can work your uh, production bug you fix it and you release the production happily now you have to come back to your developer branch whatever the work you did morning you need to start working on that part you have to continue that work right so for that what we should do just go to checkout git checkout uh, what is the branch guys develop branch now See, get, now check git status here, guys. So nothing is it, right? So how to how to revert how to uh, how to revert that stash files to here? Okay, for that we have to use git stash apply. Git stash apply. Now if you enter, if you click on enter button, whatever the file you created morning that file is going to here. Okay. Now we can check here git status happily. Now we have here. Now we can able to do git add like this and we can do git commit commit hyphen m and write uh, updating my register file. Updating my register file. Right. Uh, git push git push origin develop right fine job done so now in my i push whatever the update files i'm having i push that files to where this thing now now you can check again so if i if i'm going to check my stash okay so what you are thinking that, that will be deleted no that will not be deleted guys okay see you now git stash list see still 
that stash file is available. Okay. What is the use in that mobile? You don't have any use, right? So if you if you keep if you keep on maintain the same files like this, so definitely you are you are that going to create your memory, right? That is not a good practice, right? So once your job is done, so as a developer you need to delete that. So how to delete? Git stash drop drop, and you have to define the uh, that one. That is what stash stash. Uh, stash at the rate we can define that file uh, index value over there git stash drop okay now we can see drop stash that means drop is nothing but delete okay git stash drop okay like this and now we can see git status so nothing is there okay so we can see git stash list nothing is there now right so this is a way where i'm going to work with the stash okay it's most important guys okay remember the point right now now so what we should do here is okay now we now i'm in develop branch right so what we should do get yeah mm. Uh, what we should do okay fine we can see here clear it ls hyphen la so login file and registration file okay so i am going to in login file i am going to do some changes so login uh, login dot text so i am going to update my mobile number so i can call it as uh, we can use here one two three four five six seven eight nine okay uh, money at one two three i'm added over here now we can see wq like this okay uh, we can use here get okay mm, i'm using mm, okay get add dot get commit hyphen m so we can give a proper message over here says that in login file login file i changed my mobile number i changed my mobile number like this now get push origin what develop okay so now everything is fine now right now Okay, so what we should do, I am going to merge that code to master. So git checkout master git merge git merge develop. Okay, committing. files so two files is coming okay two things is committed over there so just check git diff develop okay nothing is there you can see get uh, cat login dot text see we can see the mobile number and password is updated so suddenly suddenly uh, you have to get check the log guys uh, in the log we can see here so I in login file I change my mobile number right so assume okay suddenly you got that hey I I gave my mo wrong mobile number but unfortunately I pushed that code to get uh, develop and I merged that code to master okay if the, the code is going to lie it's getting a problem for me immediately I want to delete that particular uh, delete that particular change okay so for that what we should do we have to use a cherry pick okay we have to use cherry pick okay how to do just copy this commit id okay copy this commit id we can use here get cherry pick get cherry pick and define the 
define the commit id here paste it okay now if you enter here see here you are currently cherry picking commit like this okay get cherry pick like this okay mm, okay sorry we can move to get checkout develop okay uh, now we can use git cherry cherry pick and we can define the uh, paste here like this now we can see okay you can check the status Hmm. All conflicts fixed. Run git cherry pick hyphen hyphen continue. Where do we like this? Okay, hmm. just check this one. This git defer uh, develop rate. Get. So there is one thing here. Get cherry pick commit ID only, right? Get log. So head to develop, right? So copy this thing. Q. Get checkout. Develop. Okay, get checkout develop here we have right so what we should do get okay we can say here get differ difference with master okay nothing is there mm, we can see get cat uh, login dot text so one two three four okay and now mm, get develop is here get checkout master cat login dot text okay it is here so i uh get log right so we have to copy this uh, committing so copy here so get Cherry pick the cherry pick hyphen hyphen skip. Okay, so we have to work on this part, guys. Okay, let me do one thing. Uh, get mm, check out develop. Okay, fine. So ignore this part. Okay, let let, let we have uh, cherry pick. We can discuss things later. Okay, now so now assume. Uh, get difference with what master so nothing is there okay now so now the next concept will be that how we are going to work with uh, already I'm having one project in the remote okay I want I'm having one project in the remote 
so that i want to work around so for that what we should do so for that we are going to see here so demo one is it okay that is the this this is my personal repository in personal repository i'm having i'm having uh demo one is it okay just click on the demo one so how to how to get repository url like this so get this thing. just copy this thing now here I i'm going to clone okay i'm going to clone the project okay so how to do that very simple clear it mm, get clone we have to use the that particular repository url okay what is the url demo one dot git so now i'm going now i'm cloning you have you appear to have clone an empty repository so that is a empty repository right so only so just check that get remote hyphen v so okay still it is not there so what we should do okay let me do one thing okay uh let me do hfc bank kind of thing no 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 okay demo one only mm. we can try to clone it yet get check out master kind of thing get clone demo is already exists it's not an empty directory empty directory okay destination path demo is already exist mm. so for that what we should do get node from b kind of thing okay let me add uh, one more new thing here guys new window uh, so uh, i'm having one more repository here what to derive uh, money personal git kind of thing okay now we can move to here uh, cd uh, d drive d drive kind of thing cd what is the directory guys money personal git kind of thing now we can check get remote hyphen v see guys demo one dot git is there okay now anyhow we get when you're doing with this we can go with the new 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 window kind of thing okay now if you want to check the uh the particular email see guys remember the point this demo one dot rep this repository is available in another user okay that is vmk or mca user okay now now we cloned it actually just git clone uh, like that we already cloned it okay so now what we should do uh, in this demo one dot get when you see here get sorry ls hyphen la okay so one file is there sample one dot text is there, created that okay now so you can see here cat sample one dot text i am adding a new file so you can check git status uh, nothing to branch over here okay fine so what i should do here is i am going to update that file okay guys i am doing in my uh, different okay i'll, I'll tell you so uh, v uh, v i sample one dot text here so i'm adding a new line over here i'm updating this thing i'm updating this thing line one kind of thing and write q now we can use git add dot so git commit commit hyphen m i'm updating the file i'm updating the file okay one file is updated now we are trying to push it right 
get what is the aria string for this guys origin only right get push origin we can define what master when you try to enter we have a message here see permission to code academy devops demo one dot get defined deny to money ready devops okay so why because why because the particular person this particular person he make this public url only but he didn't gave access to me to write the writing on all the things right so for that what we should do uh go to the go to uh code code academy coding academy so demo okay teams here okay uh, mobile development team so there is uh there is one one here right i am adding one more one more people here member okay go to the member and coding by devops is there now i am going to add uh, one more member so how to add okay go to the coding academy mm. okay mobile team oh so this is uh, created with the help of this thing right so what we should do it has to happen right then okay go to the organization go to your organizations sorry not your repository go to your organizations under your organizations go okay this coding academy that is different or what code academy this is oh okay okay pm care mc or devops kind of thing here we can see repositories calculator app demo now coding academy repositories okay now we can see your organization coding academy kind of thing here we have repositories here so demo app right demo app kind of thing or oh, demo app what is the app name this demo one Demo one will be is available. Okay, here we have demo one. So we don't have any files here. Now go to the settings. Collaborator streams are here, right? Go to here, and there is only one file here, right? I'm going to add the people. Okay. So if I'm going to add the people, I want to know my email, right? First. So for that, what I should do? Git config hyphen hyphen global user dot. You can check email or mobile number name, right? Now see, this is the email ID. Okay. So I'm going to give access. I'm going to I'm going to add that access to here. So how to add? Okay. Go to the Add here. Okay, In, I'm going to give access for right right permissions. Just clicking on. Okay, now so now jump jump to here. Your organization. So there is a demo one. We have a request right. Just click on join. Okay, accept your invitation. Okay, once you accept your invitation. Get back to your here. Now execute the same thing. Get push origin master. Now we can able to see happily we can able to update your code. So this is the way where we are going to get one rep one remote repository to your local. Whatever whatever you want, you can work on that part. After that, you can able to push your code. Then we can able happily we can able to work on this part. Okay. This about the clone. 
So in the same way, similar thing we have pull and push, sorry fetch. Okay, so pull and fetch. Thing is, suppose uh, we have we have one common branch that is develop branch. Okay, person A and person B. Person A made some changes and he uh, pushed that particular code to the develop branch. Okay, now developer two is going to start his work. Okay, already in his in his local machine, develop branch is there, but he, without taking pull, he is going to start his own work. Okay, after that, after after getting confirmation from some person says that hey, take a pull. I already committed some files over there. Okay, so if if he is trying to take pull from there, already he modified some piece of code. There is a chance of what merge conflicts. Okay, so don't do that, right? Even though if whatever the branch you are working, okay, develop branch, right? Whatever the branch you are working, every day when you before starting the work, you make a habit that pull your update your branch with the help of pull commit. Update your branch as up to date with the help of pull commit. If, even though if we have any problem, just we can go and resolve your merge conflicts manually, and we can close it. Okay, that is the way we are going to work with the pull and fetch it. So fetch is nothing but I am going to give you a simple example. Okay, so you have one, we have one uh, group of people working on one project as a four uh, four people as a team working on one project. Okay, so suddenly, suddenly your develop your DevOps team assign one more new uh, repository to work here. So you no need to go and check on that part. Just you can go and go just use a command called fetch command. Whatever the change, whatever the updates you have in your uh, remote, all updates you are going to be able to see in your local machine. Then that is what we are going to call as fetch command. Guys. Okay, so this is the two things, guys. Pull and fetch. Okay, fine, guys. Uh, so this is about this brief introduction about the commands and all. So in the next session, we can see some more commands. Okay, so by that we can able to complete the git commands. Guys. Okay, I think I hope you guys like my video. So enjoy my video. So please like, share, and comment, guys. Okay, thank you so much.